OST 24-7. OST 24-7. You watching OST 24-7. Let's get it. The fact that they've played together for so long, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're a very close-knit group. Um, I think they, they understand each other. Um, they love each other. It started when we were young, and it just kept building up um, through everything. Uh, the bad times, the tough times, everything just built a stronger bond between each other. And, like we do everything with each other. Uh, we play a game. We all go to this Q house. We all go to the same person house. We all together. It ain't like a team where some of y'all don't come. It's just us, everybody with each other, and everybody together. I think that that even speaks more about the chemistry that we have. pictures behind you. I wanted you to feel the weight of those rings and don't lose sight of it. Now, before we start running, 
I want you to think about just a couple things. All right, think about our team. Um, what stops us? What are, what are barriers to stop us from putting that on our fingers? It's ourselves. It's 100% it's ourselves. I don't feel like there's a team in the country that is uh, as skilled or has the, the ability to do the things that we can do. However, uh, there are several barriers. This week alone could be the difference uh, between winning and losing. We'll go in there and stretch 10 extra minutes. We have a stretch and then you're gonna shoot a bunch. We all good? Uh, understand where I'm coming from? All right, let me get my range back. It's a tall one. It's a tall one. It's a tall one. Let's go. You could do a couple. Hey, yo. Who's that? 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 Who's that?
no, there's a lot of people out there pulling for you. Okay? They, they want to give back to you in a little bit of way because obviously they're getting a little bit into them watching you, but the thing that they want most, okay, the thing that they want most is they want to drive to make Okay? They want to drive to make them. And party on the parade on the way back, got me? We'll make sure we're doing things the back way. All right, here we go. Young, um, you probably can find a picture. I mean, it's CCJBC, it's just great, everybody, all ugly. We all young and ugly, I remember that. <laughs> it started at a very young age, like second, third grade. I met them during rec ball, made the rec all-star team, and from there we formed our basketball team. So we formed this brotherhood at a very young age. Yeah, I joined the brotherhood, uh, I'll say, when it really first began, like when we all play rec ball, rec ball all stars. I go to McKeecher, I ain't never seen none of these people before. So, as soon as I get out there, I know I'm kind of, in middle school, I'm kind of tall, long, you can tell, like I play a sport or something. And Coop just called me over there and he was like, play Isaac. I didn't know who Isaac was. I'm like, dang, this man look goofy, like I'm finna bust him. Big dude, so we played a three. He beat me like three zip, something like that. See, I moved here in the fourth grade, and then I played with, for the next year, I played with the fifth grade team, with the McKeeson team. That's when I first started playing with Reef and Isaac and all them. I joined in like seventh grade when we first, like McKeecher, and we won like the CCJBC championship and everything, and we was like doing the board and competing and everything. Yeah. Middle school ball, I remember it was different teams and we had to play their team and we got smacked by like 50. It was bad. That's when that's when I first knew about Isaac and all that. That's when Isaac dunked on us and it was bad. It started in wreck. I was playing with I was on the Coop team. I was on Sharif, Sharif and his brother team. So you know we used to dog we used to dog kids. We was undefeated, you know, stuff like that. You know, we played against Isaac Jet. You know, all of them. <laughs> we, used to, we used to easily blow them out by 30 and stuff like that. Yo, why y'all leaving the balls out here? Yo, get the 
Hey, snap. Yo, get the ball. Yo, come on, bro. Yo. I think one of the the unique things about this group because they've played together for so long is, you know, they can sense a big game. They know uh, good teams. They know the talent level of teams that we play. They seem to really rise to the occasion for whoever it is that we're playing. And uh, I think that I think that's one thing that kind of separates them from uh, from everybody else. Leah is very important. You know, it's just another step in our journey. And, you know, we got P. Sheet Ridge, so, you know, we're just trying to uh, knock him out right now. Get past this hurdle, it'll mean a lot, because last year we lost in the Elite Eight. Uh, it's our senior year, trying to cap it off with a bang. We're going to take it as any other game. We're going to go out there and play hard, no matter, like, who it is or what position it's in. We're just going to go out there and play hard like every other game. We've been trying to win the state championship for a while, and uh, it'll, it'll mean a lot to, the, to our whole community. Because that means that we get a shot at the semis and we get shot to get to the championship.
Get eight done. Final four. Saturday. The support system here is wild. The fans and the environment, there's people that, that always come to this game, that always support us, always give us hugs and, and, and uh, compliments after every game and for every game. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna miss that. Really, I'm gonna miss like being able to, like the team chemistry we got, the, the bond we got is it's pretty, pretty strong. I'm with these people all the, all the time. So playing with them, laughing with them, eating with them, all that, I'm gonna miss that a lot.